Merrick Houston will lead things off a 350 average on the year. Well, you talked about it in the opening, the 35 strikeouts against the six. Walk gives him 36. How about that coming all the way back? Second consecutive batter on a 3-2 count. Second consecutive batter set down with a big swing and strikeout. Over 100 plus innings, only walked 24 total. Big swing and a miss on the 3-2 and by Chase Burns for the Demon Deacons last night. Right into left center field, will drop in front of the left fielder, Javar Williams, and there's the first base hit, a two-out base knock for Micheletti. Second year here in Blacksburg, the 0-2. Breaking ball, outside corner called, strike three. And a couple of strikeouts. And the 3-2, there's ball four. The scoreboard there just over Phillips Real Estate. Hard hit ball past the diving first baseman, Ebel, into right field. First to third goes win A, and they'll be at the corners. Down outside of Charlotte in North Carolina, the 0-1. Hit hard to the right field side. That'll chase Tackard back. That's off the warning track. It's out of here off the scoreboard. That ball just continued to carry. And Seaver King will touch him all for the Demon Deacons. Well, and that's huge for Wake Forest. Again, I talked about him taking game one, come in here, kind of a quiet first inning. Pitchers showing their part. And see King with plenty of energy as he retreats to the first base dugout gets just enough. Take a look. Opposite field for the right-handed hitting King. And I'm with you. Look like it might stay in the yard. Tackett not going to get to that ball. But instead, just enough over that wall. And the Parliament here now looking to pick up a second out following the home run. And he gets it on the high swing and strikeout. Third of the ball game. Outer half pitch that he hasn't been getting. Bound it in. Got him looking. Comes back to his Parliament to get a couple of strikeouts. He's got four in the ball game. Ability to go four pitches. Or uh, more. Yeah, well. CNI single left hand side past the diving Merrick Houston. Was up there and ended up leaving three men on base as he bounces this one right side. CNI single. Yeah, not doing too much. Go with the pitch. Punch it to the right side. Back to back singles for the Hokies. And he misses low. Ball four. And that'll load him up for the Hokies. Energy and momentum from this crowd here in Blacksburg. Bouncing ball left side, charging it as Houston has one play. That's the first, and in time, no. Beating it out down the line is Sam Tackett, and the run will score on the infield. Absolutely. Extend the at-bat. Give yourself a chance. Lifts it out the right center field. Coming in is Winne. He's got it weighed and measured, tagging from third, and not going to attempt the throw, not going to test the arm out there. And a huge at-bat here early in this ballgame. And that'll be an HBP with an RBI attached. Took it off the elbow. Tried to challenge him up and in. Here's the one-two from Hartle. And he got him swinging. Not every day is going to be great, but then some days will be, be really good as that one's turned around up the middle for a single off the bat of Adam Tellier. But down the line across. But how about that? You just drop one and deposit into center field. Aggressive base running. Tellier from first to third will not deliver a throw. Pitcher's best friend, chance for a double play. Now or a pop up on the right side of the diamond. Christian Martin all the way over to the first base side and call in, see what he goes with here on the one, two. Popped him up left side. Settling under it. Canizaro comes in and will make the grab out in left field. And how about that? Hardle here for the Deeks. Swing just got a piece. No, they're going to say he didn't catch it. Throw down to first in time, the old KS2-3 strikeout swinging. I'm keeping these hitters off balance. Getting the over fastball, doesn't, misses low. Chases that one, but it gets away. And the bouncing ball will move. Runner aboard with a two-out walk, now the 3-2. Breaking ball, got him looking on the inside edge. Caught him back door. Demon Deacon's catcher takes that one outside corner, called strike three, and that will do it for the most part on that outside edge. Payoff pitch on the way. Got him looking outside corner, and I think Cook, who's been looking at it from behind the dish. Push one to the right side, extend the at-bat. Outside corner. I'll be back-to-back -back strikeouts looking, and right now, umpire's not getting me. Let me get the hitters to swing. And he does there as he'll strike out the side and get him eight Ks on the day. And Wyatt Parliament, the two right-handers on the mound for Virginia Tech. They're going to say he went. 0-2 on the way, ground ball up the middle, and it gets past Clay Grady sliding from left to, from, uh, left to right there. 
then you work away from him. Here's a 3-1, and they do work low and outside, and that'll be walk 33 on the year. Two on and two gone. Big swing and a miss, and how about the aggressive base running again as Tellier will swipe third. Neff looking to get the hitter, but great job by Wake to swipe a bag. Off the mound and through, and that probably would have scored a runner from second regardless, but it easily scores Tellier from third. Bouncing ball left side, deep in the hole and through. Sending the runner around third. Kurtz will score without a throw. As Jake Reinish picks up his second base hit of the ball game. And he misfires on that one. It'll draw the walk. They'll load him up. Off the handle, back to the hill. Pitchers fielding practice. The throw by Neff onto first, and he'll get out of it. That's pretty impressive. Smacked right side against the shift. You don't shift, your second baseman might have a 4-3 inning ending ground out, but you move everybody around and you won the night with a single and a run scored. Bounced, that'll get past Burley. And now Virginia Tech trying a little. See if they go red light here on the 3-0. It is high and outside. That corner's not been there. Who's gonna win the steering contest? Morningstar delivers, bouncing ball right into the shift. Taking it second and tell your Thomas Newsom has not given it all night either way. And that's going to be sent into center field. How about the first base hit of the year for Jacob Burley? Barreled that one up about as good as you could in the center field. Grant Holm is Manning on the first offering. Bunted off the bump. Fields throws on to first. Again, very speedy in that number nine spot. Runner on second to break even. Got him swinging. Beautiful pitch. Had him out in front again, and Virginia Tech will slam the door. In that range. Able to pop this one right side. Long run off of first for Nick Kurtz. He's there, and he'll make the sliding grab. Wake Forest looking to get the leader on again, put some pressure on this defense. Smack to the right field side, to the warning track, to the wall. It's off the top of the fence. Kurtz will round second. It took a big carom off the wall. And I'm not sure that he had very consistent player in this Wake Forest lineup. There's a bunt, trying to move the runner to third. Looked initially like Cook wanted Manning to go to third to the time. This time going a little quicker. And I think they called him out. A KS now the throw down to first to heads up play by Cook to understand the situation. 2-2, ground ball left side, gloved, grabbed the throw to first. Did he hold the bag? Yes, he did. Yeah, that's exactly right. I think last Here's time the first one. I see that one get away. Popped him up. Mile high into the night sky. Kurtz calling everyone off with that first base glove and had to 13 transfers, 13 freshmen on a team that won 54 lit last year. As this one's flown out to can of zero. A little can of corn. And now he will. There's that outer half again. Christian Martin. Line drive right field is going to drop in for a base knock. Not going to test the arm of Wynne out in right field. Certainly an opportunity. 0-2. Ground ball out towards short. Houston will take it himself. The throw to first for the double play ball. Big shift. That one hit well to the right field side. That ball carrying to the warning track, to the wall. And it's out of here as Nick Kurtz will touch them all. And there's that all-important run. We mentioned Kurtz with the double his last time up. Finds the home run to right center here in the ninth. That's exactly right. Left-handed hitting Kurtz was... Seeing that up in the zone, taking big hacks the entire way in this game. Well, having some fun. Yeah, there was another one. Wake Forest feeling really good. Ball's just elevated. And Manning, we talked that downward movement, downward motion for Manning, but that one just doesn't get down soon enough. Instead, it gets lifted. And Kurtz knew it as soon as he made contact. There's that big run that they've been chasing the last two innings. But there, that was quite the hack from Wesley. 1-1 one, one count. That's that old money ball approach. You got to get on base. Big swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Roland flipped the glove. Roland uses all that pitch clock. Line drive left side. Through for a base hit. Rolls towards the corner looking for two. 
stand-up double by Clay Grady, and that's what the doctor ordered here in the top of the ninth. Hard hit right side, diving stab made by Tellier. Comes up throwing in time. What a play by Tellier. Step in, step out, call time, step off the rubber, whatever, back and forth, the stare downs. Sure. You lose a little bit of that, that gamesmanship. And that's a bulk. And that'll bring in a run. The break even. Swing and a miss. Rowan rallies back and will get the strikeout of Eddie Micheletti. And the Demon Deacons will come on the road and pick up a big series win.